these guys looking to walk away here. A champion. And Philly knows something about being a champion, especially coming off that great Super Bowl run they had there last it is. year. And we have two Eagles fans playing head-to-head -head for the Eagles championship. How cool is that? It's great. And they're both really excited on the Madden side, the fan side, the football side. And there's going to be an amazing watch party here. You also want to give a shout-out to EA and then Nerd Street, who once again put on another oh. A plus event here in Philadelphia. Nerd Street, you guys do it big every time, and it's an honor to, for you all to consider. Uh, Rico and myself, we're glad to be here, and we just thank you for your elite hospitality. All right, so now we're kicking off. These guys are better than me. You know, the shot, the, the game clock is going down to zero seconds. They're going to decline the you got to be a good sportsman. You can't say, man, I listen. love the handshakes, we I love the sportsmanship. We don't even do that in lab games, man. <laughs> I tell my guys, man, look, burn your time out if it's going to take you longer than 50 seconds to, to get your substitutions. You know, you got to come ready. All right, with Noonan getting uh -oh. the ball first, he's going to need to put some points on the board here. You do not want to come out as the underdog and go and turn the ball over or get stopped early. That just gives more momentum to the figgy train. Okay, and right now what I see is we're going to watch Deuce Close against Nickel Normal. Wow. And he's taking a page out of Jay Oz's book. Jay Oz had, believe it or not, has some, some success running the football. When you pass the ball against this Nickel Normal, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see. Bradley Chubb's going to be in your face. So the best way to neutralize a player like that, you know, this HB Wham. Look, let's go. Oh, now if he would have been able to break that tackle, he might have still been running and jumped out to an early lead. But right now, he has to feel good. He's able to move the sticks. He seems to be getting what he wants with Absolutely. running the ball. He hasn't had to make a read yet against right. Figgy's aggressive user lurk. Right. And I look to see... I'm expecting to see at some point, I don't know if he's just going to stick with this wham, but there is a very good stretch play on the left side. You can flip it. It's a symmetrical formation, meaning, you know, when you flip the play, the defense doesn't know whether you're running it to the right or to the left. If I'm Noonan, I would probably look to get that stretch involved a little bit more because with his defense, his nickel normal, it looks like he's pinching his D-line. So with the run game, if you run a stretch, if they seal the tackle seals, you're putting yourself in position to really be successful out there. Great defense. He can get a big run with that stretch. He hasn't called it yet, but I, I'm a firm believer that something might open up. He went to that wrong drag. You could tell he was locked in on it. Yeah. He didn't see he had a little bit of daylight on the right side of the yeah. field. But with Vic being that left-handed quarterback, a lot of times it's easy to make those reads to the Man. left side of the field. And that post is, is just wide open. Good, good job blocking the blitz. Now Vic. Just first. creating a situation out of nothing. That's why you pay the cap for the guy. Yes, absolutely. He is worth a couple of first downs alone, just with his speed, just with his elusiveness, just being able to keep a play alive to allow some more routes to develop. Wow. And look at the information that comes in the chat from none other than James031. James let us know that there is no stretch in this playbook. So it's interesting picking a, a deuce close book that's not a full deuce close. Interesting play or in, interesting choice in uh, playbook selection. There's going to have to be something else on the backside that's going to balance that out. Right. All right, second and inches. This is where you can potentially open up that playbook, take a couple shots to deep, or is he just want to make sure he just keeps moving the chains? Man. Wow. Hey, and listen, it's a copycat just, just like the regular NFL. Madden is a copycat league. The nickel normal, it's a very dynamic defense as the nickel 335 odd is preparing to get patched, as big nickel is preparing to get patched. It seems like nickel, nickel normal is going to become a very good, a prolific defense in the community. And it looks like Deuce Close is giving it a lot of trouble. If you go in your weekend league games and you go into your uh, salary cap games, DC games, and you're starting to see a lot of nickel normal, take a page out of ESG Noonan's book and put that deuce close on him. Now, 
Here's where it gets interesting. Is Noonan going to be able to continue to make a living like this all game long? Is this fool's goal thinking he can just run the ball like this on Figgy and win? I like the call right here. I mean, it's second and four. Fournette carried the, the load on first down, got him six yards. Now he's going to, oh. Oh, wow, look at Calvin. That's why he's the best card in the game. And I right like <laughs> the pass call, the going to bunch, leaving the formation on second and four. He gives himself a chance to throw a, either a quick dot or something deep. And if not, he allow Fournette to get, get his energy back. He's still bright orange, right? So he's tired. You allow him to regain some sort of stamina. And as you head down here, where you're really going to need him. I don't know. We might see a lot of Vic here. Yeah. <laughs> he might not Let's want to see. take that chance. Yeah, first down. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He went with a toss. Bad call. Bad call, man. And there's some of that nerves, and that's why I yes. tell you, you don't want to turn a one-yard play man. into a six-yard toss. I keep telling you. So now that changes the entire complexion of this game yes. if he does not get seven. Listen, from the one-yard line. You have a running back who is bright yellow, super tired. Not only is he super tired, but he is a, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust running back. And you throw a toss to a man while he's tired, he didn't fight right there. From the one, from the one in that situation, you got to go with either a QB sneak. I'd rather you QB sneak because at least if you get stopped, you're still on the one. You throw a toss to a tired running back, you know, it's a 10-yard loss. And this is where we talked about calling a play for the sake of just calling a play. Yes, sir. No, you cannot waste any plays in Madden. Every play matters. Every down matters. And when you look at the guys that are truly, you know, historically have been very good at the game, they value every possession, time, and score. You know, it might not be about getting the touchdown on first down, but I'm in position to get the touchdown on second down. Right now, he has taken his team essentially out of the play. He, but don't that call it a comeback. Motion. And he just got in the end zone. Man. He said, I'm not trying to hear anything that anybody has to say. I like don't it. Don't worry about this. I got this. I'm up 7 nothing. If you're Figgy, you got to know you let a chance get away right there. Yeah, but still, I mean, it's better to get that touchdown from the one than getting it from the 10. You know, so he just kind of got. The game went his way right there, but I hope he doesn't continue to make those types of mistakes. Shout out to Kerry Q, giving you a big shout out there, Seattle Bum. Uh, hey, my man Kerry, AKA Kerry Close. Kerry Close, shout out to Kerry Close. His formation is, you know, he's the, he's the GOAT at running that formation. I'm pretty good at, at that formation, but now nah, Kerry's the GOAT. He has so many routes, he's so patient. You know what I mean? He has the combination of a dynamic run game, dynamic passing game. And another guy, uh, Tia's, or uh, excuse me, but um, Figgy's partner, um, Siwoo, one of the uh, top streamers in our community. He actually runs that deuce close formation pretty well. There's another guy, um, he's on the Xbox, and I haven't really seen him play too, too much. But I hear he's a dynamic in that formation also is... Um, the kid, what's my man's name? Fitz, the, the kid Fitz. They say he's real, real good at that formation as well. So there's a lot of people who have, have taken that formation and, and, and made it their own, done some good things. And it's good to see that ESG Noonan is, is writing his chapter in that book as well. And he's sending some pressure. Was able to get to Vic before he was able to get that one off. Lucky for Kerry, I mean, not lucky for Figgy, he didn't take that sack. Kerry is also one of the most cerebral players in the, in the Madden community. I remember seeing him up at the Daily Grill computer many a night, toying with his lineup, making some last-minute changes. Man. Shout out to Kerry. Look at the pocket presence. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, wow. that's got to be a fumble. Come on. That's going to hurt in the morning. That was a point of emphasis on the game. Ooh, that you hurt. know, the quarterback should not be able to take those types of hits. As a defensive player, it's hard enough to stop Vic without a spy. We need those collisions to be, you know, go in our favor sometimes. So I feel his pain. But, hey, Figgy was able to avoid a, a bad situation. So he wants to smarten up and not take so much abuse with that quarterback. I like the defensive adjustments. Oh, boy, we and have cloud flat. We have a cover two look on the left. We have a cover three on the right. 
He, there's a lot of adjustments going on. That's Newton what, said he had a couple of different looks he wanted to throw yes. at people, keep them off guard, yeah. keep them off balance. Well, right here, there's a, if he can get a stop here, he can take control of this entire championship game. What did we say? Fourth and four. What is your tendency? Okay, the flip the play. He's, he's adjusting. Let's look at that. Oh, Figgy had to call the timeout. And I love that call by Figgy. I would rather you take a timeout, make sure you have the D you want on the field, make sure you were able to make all your adjustments and changes, because this is a great play right here. And Madden players know sometimes that's a good feeling when you can make him be the one. You know, Figgy's calling all these adjustments to get the guy off balance. Wow, Odell held on. Great job by Figgy. Yeah. And here's what I tell you. I don't know if that was what Figgy wanted to do. But it worked. But it worked. He took his time out. He got the play he wanted. He got the result he wanted. Yes, he did. Not sure if it was the right play. Odell laid out for him, man. Showed that high, spectacular catch, catching traffic uh, rating. And, you know, that's a, that's a catch that allows him to extend the play. Let's go. Now he's doing the flipty flip again. And, you know, a lot of times when you can you get away with one, oh. either you throw a touchdown or you throw a pick next. I really, really like the adjustments going on on the defensive side of the ball. Look what, look at the coverage. Watch the way that the coverage rolls on the left side once Figgy flips the play. He's bringing the safety down, Rob Woodson. Good defense. This Noonan guy, he, I, hope, I hope he's getting credit for being a very good defensive player because I'm loving what he's doing. Let's see if we can call it out. We got press coverage. Look what he's doing with, uh, with Woodson. That's the key player to watch. Sometimes that guy's in a, in a what's it called, the three wreck. Oh, oh he got blocked run. right there. He got blocked right there. But watch Rob Woodson. He's the one that's kind of disrupting a lot of – uh, where Figgy's initial initial hot reads are. Let's take a look at what zone he's putting that guy in because he shot down to the uh, – he shot down like a hard flat, but then he uh, – oh, he must have played the sticks. Okay, he flips the play. Look at Woodson. Brings him down in the box. I want to see what the adjustment is with him. Looks like a purple. Oh, but he threw right over top of it. Oh, wow. man. Wow. <laughs> Good defense. Great offense. Man. And Figgy put that one exactly where it needed yes, to be. That, that's the best pass Madden Mike Vick has ever thrown. Man. And you go from that fourth and four where you have a chance to get him off the field, get the ball back, great field position. Figgy throws it to a high cap receiver, Odell Beckham, who extended the play. And sometimes that's all a great man player needs is another opportunity. Now you're looking at a 7-7 ball game. But his offense played well. He seemed to have a good scheme to attack that nickel normal. He was running a lot of this HB dive. And I look to see him come back out in, uh, in this wham. Pardon me. All right. He needs to manage trying to score, trying to keep Figgy off the field, and not turning the ball over. Hey. I don't know if you guys noticed that was that was a re, that's what I'm gonna call a respect spin. He put some respect on on Figgy's free safety. That man, rest in peace, one of my favorite free safeties of all time, defensive players rather of all time. That's Sean Taylor. And so Fournette, you typically see him trucking and running everybody over, but he met he met up with that Sean Taylor and he chose to go for the spin instead of trying to run him over. That's he, something you better do in real life if you were to ever run into that man. He wanted no problems with that no, man at all. No, it's not real worth quick bad historian moment, Sean Taylor. I don't know if you remember that Pro Bowl where Sean Taylor laid the hit on the brother. Oh, it took the, him out the game. Yeah, took yes. him out the game. We were filming our Madden finale at that Pro Bowl. Wow. Everybody was out there for that. Wow. Great yeah. times. Yeah, that guy, he was he was just always in goal mode, man. He didn't have an off switch. He was trying to bring it every single play. That he wasn't. Speaking of bringing it every single play, at some point, Newton's going to have to make a decision. Does he go full throttle, try to score, get seven? No. Does he try to just see if he no. can take three? You just keep doing this. You just keep doing this. One thing this is doing, this is like what defenses you used to do. Think back to the um, Peyton, Manning, Peyton Manning days. You know, they would just keep him over there on the sidelines. 
Figgy's a dynamic player, but guess what? He, he can't score if he doesn't have the ball. So you just take your time, you know, you, you keep his offense off the field, and then you just pray that, you know, your defense steps up for you in that fourth and fourth situation the next time. You just slow roll a game like this. There's no reason to force it. You're in full control. You have timeouts, three of them. Now he's going to have to manage the clock right now. After this play, I expect to see a timeout, and then he's going to go into pass mode. Timeout. Okay, just like we said, third and eight. You got two plays to get eight yards. Figgy Don't. took that timeout. Oh, Figgy wants what, the ball back. Figgy said, okay, now it's third and eight. Now I'm going to make you make a decision. You're going to have to become more aggressive yeah. here. And now when he takes it to the air, he cannot force it here. You don't want to let Figgy dictate what you do on offense. He could even technically run the ball again just and to take Figgy's last time out and make him, if he does get a stop, make him panic and not have that time, not have access to that timeout. Fig with the broken sack. Calvin does Calvin. Wow. And we talked about that in the beginning of the game. He upgraded his, I want to say, deep throw chemistry. One of those chemistries that gives him plus two broken sack across the board. He took the time as a Madden coach to upgrade and upgrade that chemistry, and it paid off right there with the broken sack. You Go sound, deep chemistry. You sounded like Alvin and the Chipmunks when you said, Calvin! <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I can't help it, man. I get so excited. Like, I'm watching the stream. It's a blessing to be able to call the game oh, just like this. Sorry. Now, 26 seconds left. If you're Figgy, do you try to get three here with one timeout, or do you just take it down and you hit? <laughs> Hey, if God bless me enough to have Figgy's offense, I'm going for seven with 26 seconds left. This guy is so tough offensively. B, wide open, possession catch. Oh, with the oh, spin. Wow. Make him miss. Oh. Now that's where it comes down to it. Yeah. He had one timeout. There's yeah. 18 seconds yeah, left. He can go if he could have made him miss, yeah. that would have been a touchdown. He but he didn't want to have to burn that timeout. Exactly. That's the play that hurt uh, Slim. So he used it. He got out of bounds. Didn't take any unnecessary chances. He still has a play he can run here and still get a timeout. Like I said, if I'm as good as Figgy is offensively, I'm going for, oh, God, I'm going for seven here. Three is just like, three just comes with him having the ball. This guy is running a very dynamic offense. Now, you know you have three here if you're Figgy. You're walking a thin line here trying to get in the end zone and tie this one up versus leaving points on the board. Yeah, but you also have Randy Moss. You also have Leonard Fournette. And you see he ran the ball, yeah. and he was happy to take his three. Yeah, take the three. I if he's going to run the ball there, I would rather see him run it up the middle just to make it an easier kick for his kicker. But I'm sure he's invested the cap in a kicker that – is more than capable of making this kick right here. He has Myers. Anybody in the chat know how much cap he spent on Myers? Me, I need, I got damn Bailey for mine, so 10 cap, baby. The thing I don't get is if you're going to let all that time just run out, why not take one more shot at the end zone? You still had the timeout. You still could have stopped it. I agree. But I he get gets the ball at half. And that's what shows you the respect he has for, for Noonan's defense. defense. Right. Earlier, there if this would have been the first one, he wouldn't he have done that. for that. Uh-oh. Very good half right there. Great, great championship football going on. If you would have told Noonan he'd be up 14 to 10 at the half on Figgy, he'd he, have definitely took it. Yeah, and he would have believed you. His, this isn't a man who lacks confidence. He's fully prepared. He he feels like he's here for a reason. He's you know you don't get to the championship by accident. Oh man, yeah, twenty cap. Oh. Oh, and he got the grounding. Yes, he did. That hurt yes, so did. bad. Yes, he did. He panicked by breaking the sack. And second and twenty three, when he could have probably done something there. You don't see. You don't expect something like that from Figgy. But pressure bust pipes. I see Figgy's lab partner, another dynamic man player in the chat. I see Blocky305, Mr. Miami Dade County, one of the better man players that we have in the community. He's got Figgy prepared, flew in a couple dots, I'm sure. 
and Figgy's out here balling and his homeboys watching. You got to love watching that. Now, question, is that Jay Wall, as in the winner of the New England? <laughs> Jay Club Wall. Champ Club championship? Yes, he is. That's what I'm saying. You can, that you was know, another great one. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of great players, man, up-and-coming players, established guys. This is a good year for Madden, man. A lot of opportunities still remain. Uh-oh, Ron Parker finally got in. Figgy's going to need to make an adjustment here. I don't know that he can – he's going to have to pick something. Either he's going to need to make a quicker read or he's going to have to keep somebody else in the block because he, he doesn't have time to do anything now. Figgy's not comfortable against his adjustments. This guy's adjustments. I'm so impressed by uh, what he's doing with, with Rob Woodson. Oh, God. Good day, man. Wow. That was a great read by Figgy. Just tough. This game is coming down to... He has invested, and the guys who are playing very well for him are the same. Like last game, right? Here's why, where matchups come in so much. Last game, Figgy was throwing against 20 cap uh, cornerbacks. Right now, he's throwing against threshold cornerbacks, meaning these guys are all 90-plus zone. Each throw that he, that he chucks up there, these guys, they react much, much faster than the last team that he faced. And we're starting to see that wear, wear on him. Oh, God. And you start to hear uh, Newton. Newton. Yeah, he, yeah, he's getting his he's swag back. He's talking bit, trash, man. yelling, get, get off little, me. Get a little vocal. You love it. For those of you who are not here right now, just understand, Noonan's swag has gone from silent church mouse mm -hmm. to... I am supposed to win I'm this. Y'all be better recognize yeah. who I am. That's Philly swag, man. You know, when you're the underdog, you, that's, you come out on top. These guys are Eagles fans. They, they went 53 years without a championship. And I'm not rubbing it in your, in your face, Eagles fans, but I'm just keeping it a bean. You know, they're, they're used to being talked about as – you know, underdogs, and they've never won, and this sort of thing. So I expect some of that same passion to translate over to their Madden game. Are the Noonans in the building? Oh, the Noonan family's deep. Uh, there's about 50 of them. <laughs> yes, they are. They are raising their hands. Let's go, Noonan Nation. <laughs> they are ready to go. All right. Now, I expect Figarelli to respond. You know, there's still a lot of game left, but – I think he's just got to get back and find some, find his comfort zone. If I were him, I just would attack the right side of the field. Um, that was an unfortunate drop, but that left side of the field looks too dangerous. He might want to come out, and if he's going to flip the play, come out with the play flipped already, meaning start with your bunch going towards the short side of the field away from Rob Woodson and then force his adjustments to go to the other. There we go. He's starting to switch it. He's starting, to, he's starting to flip it around a little bit. Hopefully it's not a little too little too late. A crosser, a crosser would give him trouble. There you go. A crosser right to left would give him trouble. His defense on the left side of the field is much stronger than the right side of the field. So if I'm Figgy and I'm going to keep resorting to flipping the play, come out in the play going to the weak side and then attack going over there towards Slay's side. Even though Dion's sitting right there. But it's just like I don't feel like he's comfortable with his reads attacking that left side. There's too much going on over there. Okay. That was a great look. That was nice. The hard flat didn't get down. Now, once Figgy needs to make sure he gets in the end zone here. You want to put it yourself in a position where even if you give up a field goal, you can still win this game with a touchdown. And maybe a little bit more. Yeah. R1. Let's go. Good Moss made a, made, Moss made a grab. He was able to. Moss <laughs> he mossed him. Yes, he did. That's a, a play that you typically see. One of the stronger plays in the entire uh, Patriots playbook, a popular playbook in the community. That play is called curl flat. And so he streaked the outside receiver. He had a drag coming across the screen. And that that uh, corner route from the slot receiver, it gets over every single zone that you can put out there. 
soft squat, stand no chance, cloud zone, stand, cloud flats, stand no chance, hard flats definitely don't stand a chance. That's why it's one of the toughest routes. You have to use her that or have an outside quarter that will, you know, possibly react. But nine times out of ten, you're better off just using that route. Now, the high-level players, they make that tougher because there's usually a, another route on the back side from the single receiver coming across the middle. Look at B on the drag. He has drag, 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 a post. Very tough combo to stop. Now, Joke believes that Figgy can still <laughs> win this game. He just needs to stop the run. Yeah. That's easier said than done. Yes, it is. When you can't stop the run, What's your go-to? But again, when, when you when you when everything you've labbed has not worked, right. what do you go to? Are you asking Madden? Are you just going formation based? Are you going? I'm just gonna send eight. Right. <laughs> what's what's your thought process going through there? I mean, I, I don't. It's it's weird with Madden. Like, just blitzing more people doesn't necessarily give you better run D. Not at um, all. You know, what I'd like to see him do, like if, if my natural run D isn't working, I'd like to see, just from an adjustment standpoint, I'd like to see him maybe cross man his safeties. That way the safety is, you know, when the play starts, he's running from the left side of the field to the right side. The strong safety is running from the right side of the field to the left side. And sometimes that pursuit, once the play is called, it allows those safeties to shoot down towards the run and that gives you additional boosted run support. So a lot of high-level man players, they'll typically use that uh, technique, which we call cross manning, and that gives you a, a little bit of a bonus in terms of uh, being able to stop the run. But once again, with Leonard Fournette, it's not about just making the tackle. It's not even about making contact. It's about making the tackle. He's been able to break tackles and, and get extra yards. So you got to be able to bring him down. Now, if you're Noonan, you got to stick with your momentum. Do not take your foot off the gas pedal here. You do not want to get lax in your play calling. You don't want to get on the, your high horse too soon because a player as good as Figgy, he'll be right back in this. Yeah, and Figgy, I, I want to see Figgy adjust. Last game, he adjusted He on, on the defensive side of the ball. He came out against Jay Oz, showed 3-3-5 three, three, odd, it was not giving him full trouble, so he switched to nickel normal. Nickel normal gave him success last game with Bradley Chubb screaming off the edge. But it's not being effective against this deuce close offense. I want to see Figgy go to a different go to a different defensive formation because nickel normal is not stopping this uh, this this carry close. And all it's doing is just helping him milk the clock. Right. This third inch is going to give him another 30 seconds he can right. take off. Right now, Noonan has everything to his advantage. And we have goal line against Nickel Normal. That's where situational play calling. You don't always want to just call a play for the sake of, you know, rushing and panicking. Match up formation for formation, personnel for personnel. You don't want to be in nickel against goal line. I mean, the guy only needs a couple inches for the first down. Match up personnel-wise, I'd rather see him at least in 3-4. If not, go goal line for goal line and, and may the best man win. Good defense. There we go. He's going to have to put him 23 for 107 and two TDs. We said it was going to come down to who was able to stop the run better, and right now it looks like Noonan's been able to slow Figgy down more than Figgy's been able to slow Noonan down. And we have the ESG. Their name is, it stands for Eat, Sleep, and Grind. Some of the ESG goons are in the chat. I see Blair Walsh Project cheering his brother on. You know, he's saying tick, tick, tick. He, he wants, you know, he's just reminding him right now, use the clock as your best friend. But now he's in a third and 12. This is what Joke was talking about. Here's a situation where if your defense can make a play for you, it's a new ball game because all you need is a touchdown to take the lead. If I'm Noonan, I might have even ran there or ran with no. my quarterback. He played making oh. the wrong way. Man, and if you're Noonan, I think you got to go for it here. You got to go for it right here. Because and because you, because you were going to go for it on a fourth down anyway. Anyway. Your run has been phenomenal. Yeah. It's been getting you six, seven yards a pop. I might have done it just to keep him off balance. He has Tyreek Hill, I believe, on a playmaker. 
Noonan has a bad habit of playmaking his man to the left. Okay, and Oz, or excuse me, Figgy's doing a great job of lurking towards the left side of the screen. What I'd like to see him do is playmaker that man straight up the field. Playmaker him straight up the field, and you know, you might get a, a nice little 10, 12 yard gain out of that. But playmakering towards the user, that's never a good formula. What do you feel about this, the play call right here? Fourth and 12. He, this man really trusts his defense. I think I'm going for that. I think he did that on purpose to, oh, to get look him at better the at the corner punt. kick. He knew that if he took that delay, he'd have a little bit better angle on the punt. <laughs> he came out to see what he was in, if it was anything in blatant. Right. Now he's going to make Figgy double, double, double. go on that guap drive. Yeah, this is the shmoney drive. This now is Figgy needs to make this the last drive and yeah. then go for that touchdown. But because he needs uh oh wow. oh if he wouldn't have spun, he'd have still been wow. running. He spun back into that tackle. Man, Rod Woodson again. Rod Woodson is near the ball. But because Figgy needs seven, he cannot relax on his morals. He cannot slow his offense down. He needs to make sure that he worries about scoring first, clock second. Oh, there we go. Curl flat. In route, very tough combo to guard. You have to use her a lot of, a lot of stuff right there. A big-time corner, he might want to consider manning up the single receiver, and hopefully he does a good job guarding the in route or the drag because it's too much ground to cover trying to get out there to the deep corner route and trying to double back and get back to that in route. If Sometimes you want to play in no man's land and, hey, you know, be in position to where you can uh, – Act like you're chasing the corner route, but then come back and get that, that drag. Oh, man. Oh, didn't get his feet in bounds. Tough play. Watch Randy Moss here. <laughs> if you're Noonan, you have to keep an eye on him. Do not let him make a play. Make Figgy earn everything. Oh, man. That's okay. And Yeah, Slay's got to make a play for him right there. He went straight to Randy Moss. You knew where he was going. Everybody in the building knew he was going towards Randy Moss. Hey, let's go. Noonan is uh, having some unfortunate plays go against him. Right now, I'd like to see him get as aggressive as possible because if, you know, in the event that if Figgy were to score, I want to see him uh, – give himself at least chance to tie the game up with a three. I don't think Newton wants that drive. <laughs> no, he's trying to get it. He's trying to get this over. With he's trying to get a stop so he doesn't have to make any possessions. He wants to make sure that and this if Slay is the catches last drive, that, If Slay period. catches that, this game is probably over. Oh, it's definitely over. But Figgy has three timeouts. Oh, he got him. Oh, God. Oh, you need an animation. I'm telling you that. That read doesn't animate, man. Apke's running under that laughing. All right, he's getting down there. He's now officially in the red zone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is everything you want in the championship game. Here at the Philadelphia Eagles Club Championship, we have Nooning and the defending champion, Figgy, battling it out right here oh, wow. for the Philadelphia title. Drag underneath. Wow. Wide open. Oh, God. Timeout. Got to get a timeout. Got to get a timeout, Nuna. Leave yourself a little bit of time, man. He goes on aggressive running. Four net. Now, quick, everybody, including you, Reggie, do you run commit here? Nah. No. You, that way, if he scores, he scores. You get the, tie, get the ball back. If not, maybe you do something great, get in the backfield, do something here. In theory, you run commit, but run commit – isn't tip, it's not 100% guaranteed. Exactly, know? but I'm saying I think you run commit either way to either give yourself a chance to stop the run or you or give up the, the touchdown. Back, yeah. No problem. Now I have the ball. See? See? When you run commit, Fournette, he, I always say this, he gets better. The more defenders are around him, the better he becomes. It's like one-on-one, -on -one, it's easier to tackle Fournette than when there's two or three defenders around him. It's so weird. So, I don't know. I don't think you run commit. I think you just, like we talked about earlier, just try to get maintain good gap integrity, 
and shoot a gap, X tackle him in the backfield. I know Figgy does not want this to get to fourth down. Mm. Oh. Allow me to introduce himself. His name is Figgy. Hey, <laughs> F to the IG. <laughs> now the question is, will he be able to play defense wisely? Oh, yeah. Now look, here we go. 49 seconds. Would you rather be Noonan with the ball and one timeout I, I, or make, Figgy on defense with the, three? The, make me Noonan right here. I mean, make me Figgy right here. Make me Figgy right here. You ready, you ready to play defense? Figgy is in perfect position for how this game has been going. The player that he wants on his team to make a difference will have an opportunity. Let's watch for his left Bradley end, Chubb. right of screen, Bradley Chubb, to come screaming off that left side. His tight end better block or Vicks will have a long day. All He's right. sending him. Block. Oh, no. Oh, man. Good, Good defense. defense. <laughs> Ed Reed. Look, Figgy, Figgy's smiling, but he knows yeah, he's a little knows. nervous with that one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. <laughs> no safety help over the top. This is going to come down to it right here. 40 seconds. Newton has to realize he doesn't need it all in one play. He still has time, and he has a timeout. Right. He's trying to – he's using the deep route chemistry from Playmaker. Playmaker up the field. I talked about that earlier. Playmaker straight up. You're playmaker towards the defense, baby. That no huddle. Guys, please realize that no huddle takes longer sometimes than it does to go back and call that play. He's burning so much clock. He's wasting so much time. And this is that first time in the hot seat. Uh-oh. Get out of bounds. You got to get out of bounds there, man. Okay. And now he has no timeouts. Ball on the 27, 13 seconds left. Noonan needs to make something happen, not now, but right now. Oh, yeah. Figgy's in poised to repeat as the Philadelphia Eagles club champion. Can he get the stop he needs? Mm, that's game. And there you have it. That's, that's game. game. And defense. we have back-to-back. -back. Yes, in Meek City, Figgy pulled off hey. a drink. And oh, he has gone back, back to, back to back and now has won the Philadelphia Eagles Club Championship. This belt is going to be his. It's heading back to Lancaster. Somebody go outside and tell Mama Figgy she can come back in. Her boy's done well. He's gotten it done. But first we have to address Noonan. We got to tip our hat to him. Absolutely. To be here on this stage, to be in that position. He had his shot, just couldn't seal the deal, just couldn't close it. But... He's going to learn from this. He's made himself a couple of nice dollars today. Oh, yeah. And he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, we're going to be lucky enough that Figgy's going to be joining us in a second here for the presentation of his belt and Absolutely. be able to talk to him for a second. Can't wait but, to uh, get a chance to matter speak fact, with him. Do I need to move this over to make yeah, sure you yeah, don't take it home like, with this you? This will look good with me, man. But, no, congratulations <laughs> to Figgy. Congratulations to Noonan. Both guys played, you know, great, great football right there. Um, Hey, someone has to win, someone has to lose, man. But they both did it with integrity and uh, good sportsmanship. So we look to talk to the champ, back-to-back -back champ, Mr. Figgy. We know that the whole TIA, we know that the whole Lancaster is proud of you. We're all proud of you as a Madden community. And, hey, man, good luck out there in California. Again, Slim, Oz, both walked away with $2,000. Noonan made himself $3,000. Figgy's guaranteed at least $5,000 moving on to the club championships. He's gotten his boarding pass to Redwood City. Oh, yeah. He's going to be there. Hey, EA's not being cheap. $700,000. And that's just the prize pool for this one. There's and a lot of Madden to be played this that's year. That's just the salary cap prize pool. So we still have the draft champ boards, which will open up in a couple weeks. Um, you have another opportunity to grind and, and, and compete for the money that they're going to give away with that. So this is not it. If you're tuned in to the channel and you're watching and you're saying, man, I'd like an opportunity to be on that stage, uh, 
there's going to be another opportunity. Um, Madden League Ops, follow Madden them on League social media. Make sure you follow them. You'll, you'll get a chance to see all the updates and everything like that. And again, we want to thank Nerd Street Gaming. Again, they put on another first class event here in Philadelphia. Shout outs to Dubby, all the Estello, the Dynasties, the oh, Jeans, yeah. the 40s, the Twans, everybody in Philly. But right now, here, today, it's Figgy's Day. He, Figgy Delphia. Gotcha. That, that might be the new nickname <laughs> for it. It's a city of brotherly love, and this game showed him a lot of brotherly love. That's when right. we didn't think he could come back, he couldn't get a stop. He was oh, able yeah. to buckle down in that second half and get it done. Man, play as we go back and, you know, just a brief recap of what happened. I'm going to go back, Rico, to that fourth and 12. He took the delay of game and punted. Now. You can't do that. You go for it right there. I couldn't agree with you more. He had the ball with 40 seconds left, give or take, and one timeout. Figgy was able to get a touchdown on that drive where he punted. Granted, he pinned him at the seven, but the guy was able to get a touchdown anyway. If Figgy gets that same touchdown from the 49, you're looking at having the ball with like about a minute 30. Changes the whole complexion of the game. Changes the whole game. Changes your whole strategy. Absolutely. It, it really brings it back, and it shows you – Especially in the salary cap mode. You're the GM, but you're, you're still the, the coach. coach. Yes. And you got to make sure you wear both hats Absolutely. in the best manner you can. And I truly believe if, if he goes for it, at least you give yourself a chance to possibly get a first down. But if he does score, you now have a chance on your money drive to tie the game or, in fact, go back up four points again. If you have the ball with 30 seconds and, you know, one timeout, and all game you've been running the ball – uh, HB Wham, HB Wham, you haven't really been passing a lot. He kind of – he didn't really put himself in a, in a good situation with how he was calling his particular game. All right, I know we were looking to talk to Figgy, but it seems like he's been so enthusiastic with his victory. He's making the lap around the place. Yeah. He's talking to his parents. He's signing a couple autographs, kissing a few babies. Yeah, he's on his <laughs> Nip Nipsey Hustle victory lap right now, man. You that he is. And – you know what? I think mom and dad, are, they're getting on the, the internet right now trying to see if they can find a couple flights. Oh, yeah, they're support. looking for the flights to Burbank. <laughs> oh, we're at Redwood City this time. Hey, they might make him bust that check down, man. The, the, the 3000 that he won today, he might have to buy flights for mom oh, and dad. He's guaranteed five already. Oh, guaranteed yes, five today? because remember, it was two for getting here. Two for getting here. When you won... Today. The X was three, and whoever won the whole thing was guaranteed at least five to move on hey, over. You, you know go. how we can get Figgy over here? Figgy. We got your check. We Figgy. have your belt. Figgy if you don't your make your, your way over here, that <laughs> belt's coming back with one of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we see coming onto the stream, oh, none other Figgy. than your back-to-back -back Philadelphia Eagles club champion. Figgy, you can put that on any way you want, just like you're going to be able to put this belt on. Any way you want. Oh, yeah. How long have you been waiting to hold that? Present the belt to you. Woo! Congratulations. Hey! Oh. Congratulations, Figgy. Talk to us a little bit about that last drive. What were you thinking on that one? Well, I was thinking he hasn't been able to stop me all game. I stopped myself one driver. Uh, so, I was, I was pretty confident going into the last thing. I just wanted to get close to the red zone. And let Fournette punch it, and that's what I did. Were you thinking that he was going to punt that fourth and twelve that turned into the fourth and seventeen? I didn't think he was going to hike it. No. You you knew he wasn't oh, going to oh, punt. Oh, the, the aggressive catch. Yeah. Thing? Oh no no. I, I I thought he was going to go for it, and I'm not mad at him for throwing that up. But no 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 no. The, oh, the, the very game. the very end of the game, fourth quarter. Um, you got him to a third and twelve. Oh, stopped running? him fourth oh, and twelve. Yeah, I thought he was going to punt. Right there. I, I you thought he was going to punt? Like yeah, yeah. Wow. Would, now the question is, would you have punted? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what separates the levels of Madden players. You, in order to win, you got to be willing to lose. Oh, yeah. And you left game, it all on the table. Exactly. Biggest game, you got to leave literally everything out there. So I did. Where's the first place you wear that to? I'm going to Pats and Geno's right now because hey. I'm about to die and I'm having this thing right around my belt. That's right around, it. Right and right way to go. He's about to go out through Philly South and go ahead and let everybody know that he is the champion. Well, Philadelphia, you have an incredible champion and here in we Figgy. Have mom, we have to, yeah, we have to, show, we have to show Mama Figgy some shout love. Out, uh, shout out to all my family watching me, my uncles, my aunts. I love you guys. Thank you. All there right. You go. Well, there you go. We had another great 
Philadelphia Club Championship right here. We'd like to thank the Eagles. We'd like to thank Nerd Street, EA, the NFL, all the fans who came over here. Special shout out to Justin Chow, Ben. They've made everything happening. Again, that was Reggie, a.k.a. Seattle Bomb. I'm Rico Williams, your host. We'll see you at the next one. That's right. Great, Great times. Job. Check you out.